Hello everybody, this is Glitchy from Glitchy and Phoenix Talk Shit, and I'm sorry, unfortunately, my co-host... I think it's actually a little too bright in here. <laughs> my co-host is not currently here with me, because he's sleeping, and my sleep schedule has been thrown for a loop due to other things, daily life. We had to go grocery shopping yesterday, my significant other and I. And unfortunately... Our need to go grocery shopping has thrown me off so I'm awake right now when I should be sleeping because usually I'm up at night anyways regardless back to the topic today's topic for me personally right now is something that I've been seeing a lot of lately now those of you who are new here or those of you who I don't know maybe I've known you for a long time and you just don't know because it's not something that we as friends and family or whatever talk about because it's not important to us it doesn't affect who we are to each other i am part black laugh make your shitty comments think what you will say what you will i'm a person of color do i look it no do i sound it no then the fact of the matter is or well honestly the reason this video is being made right now is because I was pissing around on uh, on tumblr on twitter on facebook well, I wasn't really on facebook but that's beside the point I was on different social media sites just not really doing anything just minding my own business and having killing time honestly and one of the things I saw was a post by a news site or something people are freaking out because there was a Teen Vogue article now mind you I don't support Teen Vogue I don't support any of these fucking trashy fashion mags because you know what it just makes everybody trying to make everybody look the same now back onto my point my point is people are outraged black people black people are outraged and when I say black people unfortunately I have to mean people who are obviously black who have black skin or dark skin and don't look white in any way shape or form or light skin I'm gonna make a point on that here shortly now see me personally I'm light-skinned I'm I'm white I can pass as a white person and that's not my fault it's called genetics now I'm gonna show you a picture of my mother she's clearly labeled as being my mother I'm trying not to show her phone number that's me mom that's my mom okay that's my mom that's the picture I have of her on my cell phone you notice it says mother now my mom and I don't get on get on very well we don't get along hardly at all but that's not what's important here what's important is I asked her to send me a photo of dad today because I needed to prove a point now again that's my mother right there on my text messages it says selfie because that was the title of the thing my dad sent her this is a photo of my father. It's in my text messages. I'm trying not to show you my other messages between her and I because it's a private conversation. Now, I'm going to enlarge the photo and I'm gonna show you. This is a really shitty lighting right now, honestly. I'm sorry, I don't, fuck it. I'm gonna turn that off real quick. Now, that's my dad. You can't see in the picture Unless you go to my Twitter, my personal Twitter, which is at Nakota Lolita on Twitter. <laughs> okay, now, my dad is dark. You can't tell it here because reflections and shittiness and lighting. But when I look at my father, when I look, I'm sitting here right now looking at this picture of my dad. He is dark. Not nearly as dark as some people of color. And that's not a bad thing it's not a good thing 
It's not anything important. You all. And honestly, at this point, when I say you people, I am focusing on people of color. Black people right now. And I'm not being racist, okay? I'm making a fucking point. And the point is that you are perpetuating the racism that you claim to want to abolish. Make what you will of this. Say what you will. Get defensive. Get angry. Get whatever. But you need to understand. And you... Yes, you, right there. If you're black and you have dark skin and it's obvious you're black, that's not my fault. It's not... It's not the fault of, um... Lenny Kravitz's daughter, who is a light-skinned black female. I'm sorry, have you seen her father? He's medium-skinned. In the middle, in the middle, in the middle, okay? He's in the middle. My dad is in the middle slash a little darker. You can't see by this photo on my phone screen because of lighting. What the fuck ever. But if you want to see, I posted three photos on my tum on my tw not Tumblr, damn it, on my Twitter. They are the most recent photos I've posted. And those photos are one of my mother, the photo you saw in the text message thing that I have for her, that I have specifically labeling her mother. The photo of my father, which I just showed you. If you go and view it on my on my Twitter, at Nakota Lolita, capital N, capital L, for Nakota and Lolita. I was in a weird place when I made that title, or made that Twitter name for myself, so fucking sue me. Nakota is a nickname I go by. Now, this is going to piss off a vast amount of people. A vast amount of black people. Dark-skinned black people. But my question is, have you ever been to Africa? Have you? I don't care where you live. I don't care if you live in a ghetto. I don't care if you live in a uptown middle whatever. I don't care. Me, I live I live in a kind of middle class area, but you know what? I also have middle class black neighbors. And you know what they don't do? They don't give me shit when they see my dad, when they don't see my dad. They don't come and ask me inappropriate questions. I don't ask them inappropriate questions. We go about our daily lives and do nothing to hinder each other or anything like that. Now, I'm not saying that you shouldn't... Oh, there was a main point to this whole topic I just started with my neighbors and whatnot. They are all varying degrees of black. Okay? Some of them look like me. Some of them are looking like my dad. Some of them look like Lenny Kravitz's daughter. Some of them look like Mike Tyson's daughter. Skin tones. Okay? And some of them are black as night. Pitch black. Whatever you want to fucking call it. Some of them look like... I, I don't even know. I don't even know, honestly. Okay? I don't even know. Because if I say anything, and even though I'm making this video, you're going to take offense. And that's fine. But you know why you're offended? Because I'm right. And because I look like a white girl. Now. I'm gonna tell you the truth. My family reunions, literally, on my grandpa's side, my grandpa Emil, by the way, he's deceased, I miss him a lot. My grandpa Emil, was darker than Chris Brown, darker than Rihanna. I'm listing famous people because it's a more likely that you'll know who the fuck I'm talking about. Now, my grandmother, Charlotte, also dead, which honestly, I'm glad she's dead. She was a bitch. She was a raging cunt. That'll be a topic for another video. It doesn't matter right now. But the thing of the matter, the thing is, she was white. She could have passed as Casper. She could have passed as bleached flower, whatever. My dad is medium to dark skinned black. Okay. He can pass as a lot of ethnicities, honestly. And after the whole 9-11 incidents has happened, a lot of people treated him like a Muslim, like an Iraqi, like a whatever, whatever. 
They treated him at, and kept him at a distance. They were racist. Now let me point out the fact that you're being racist too. Because you want to see Solange, Solange, I don't know what, I don't know how to say her name. I've never heard it spoken. Okay? And honestly, if you heard my real name, or saw, rather, saw my birth name, and knew nothing else about me, you probably wouldn't be able to pronounce it either. People who know me still can hardly pronounce it, unless, they, unless they've said it multiple times. Which honestly prompted me to get a name change. To have my name changed. Because I cannot stand the bullshit that comes from having my name. And the misspellings and all this other shit. But that's fine, that's whatever point is you guys want to see and I, again I'm addressing black people dark skin black people you guys want to see Solange Knowles I guess that's Beyonce's sister I'm not really up on current trends and who's who and I don't give a fuck okay I don't give a fuck the media is there for nothing more than to rot your brains and piss you off about the wrong things okay You guys asked for Beyonce's sister. You asked for other dark-skinned uh, females in the Teen Vogue magazine. You, one particular female in, in 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 one particular female Twitter user, for instance, was quite enraged enough to continuously post tweets about this. She was black, dark-skinned, completely dark-skinned, okay? And that's fine. She can have her opinion. I don't care. I don't care. Have your opinion, all of you, anybody, whites, blacks, Mexicans, Iraqi, Palestinian. I don't fucking care. No, I did not fucking cover every damn nationality and race out there because you know what? I don't know every single race out there. I don't actively try and... Excuse me, I'm adjusting myself. I don't actively try and judge or seek out differences between myself and another person based on their skin tone based on their ethnicity based on whatever if I want to meet somebody I want to know that person for who they are inside not what they look like and if you want to sit there and hound me and harass me and de try to demean me because I don't focus on people's appearances and I don't find a person's appearance to be the most important thing about them, then that's on you, whoever you are. That's your problem. You're making it about race. And there's nothing I can do about that but make this video and hope and pray. I don't really pray. I'm not religious. I'll pray to whatever deities out there. I don't care. That you get a fucking clue. That you grow up. And that, hey, this world does eventually change. But when you sit there and you hound magazines and whatever, which, mind you, magazines are trash and garbage anyways, so stop putting so much faith into them. When you hound a magazine for using somebody who's not exactly who you think they should, I'm sorry. Start up your own magazine. Start up your own company. Start up your own whatever. Photography. Make a, make a video. Hey. Make a video, make a blog, make a vlog. I don't care. If you want your opinions out there so bad, do what I'm doing. But stop being racist. Because you need to understand that you're doing exactly what you claim to hate when you say a darker skinned person of color should have been used over a light skinned person of color. Think about that. Now, another topic is uh, that I want to, uh, well, in the same spectrum, another topic that I want to touch on is, like I was saying earlier, have you ever been to Africa? Have you ever been to those countries, those continents, those, those towns and cities and villages and whatever, tribes? Have you been there? Nine times out of ten, I'll bet you never have. For whatever reason. I don't care why you haven't been there or why you have been there. If you have, which I doubt you have. The thing is, 
it's not just dark skin out there, okay? There are light-skinned Africans born and raised there, born and raised in tribes. It happens. And here you're going to spout that it was because a black woman was raped by a white man, blah, 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 blah. But you know what? You know what? That's not always the case. Okay? Sometimes, through genetics and nobody's fault, a light-skinned person will be born to two black people. Hey, why do you think, um, sometimes when there's two dark-haired people or two light-haired people of whatever race, they get a child who can sometimes have different hair color or different eye color. You're gonna spout comments saying, oh, well, the, the mother cheated, blah, blah, blah. Really? So now you're gonna put this on a woman being at fault. When the whole reality of the matter is genetics. Really? How's that working out for you? What I'm saying and what the ma moin, moin. <laughs> what the main point of this whole video has been is that you need to stop being racist towards people who are different than you because that's what you're doing and you're perpetuating what you claim to hate you can take this how you ever you want you can think whatever you want you can say whatever you want discard me disregard me I don't care and yes, I meant discard and then also disregard. That's your choice. That's your prerogative. But I'm pointing out the flaws in your little witch hunts. The fact of the matter is, not everybody's like you. And if you truly want equality, stop being racist yourself towards people who are of your demographic but just don't look like you because honestly me personally I look white it's not my choice I didn't do this I didn't ask to look like this sorry about that I got an alert some of my some of the people I watch have suddenly decided to stream so I'm gonna go to my Twitter right fucking now now there's a picture, hold on, one second, sorry, it's extreme close up because I'm messing with a few things. Now, that's me. I'm Glitchy Bitch, aka Nakoto Lolita. I'm just trying to show you, hey, that's me with purple hair. You know, this is my Twitter, blah, blah, blah. Now, we're going to click on my image, clicking right on it. Also, in case you couldn't tell, I like Dragon Ball Z and pe penguins. Now, here we have a picture, the top three pictures that I currently have. My mother! Yes, that's my mother. I know she's ugly, but I'm ugly too, so it's fine. There's my father! My birth father, please ignore the books down there. Those are some books I was interested in looking at, and I didn't have money to buy them all at once. Therefore, I proceeded to take pictures of the ones I wanted so that I could re go back and find them later. Now, there's me. There's a much larger photo instance whatever you want to, I'm gonna do it this way okay that's me I'm mixed uh glare 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 I'm mixed okay I even sparkle in the fucking sunlight sometimes but hey that's me that's my dad oh glare oh glare hold on we're having technical issues technical difficulties my dad decided to take a photo of himself <sighs> How do I do this? Okay, hold on. I might have to do some screen capturing, honestly. <sighs> Come to me, technical skills. Wait, that's not supposed to be there. There, shit. Sorry, guys, technical difficulties. This is where it gets goofy. Sorry about it. Now, I'm going to use my OBS, which is what I do to, or what I use, rather. Sorry, what I use. <sighs> Two. Okay, there we go. Screen capture. Now you guys can see, but you can't really see me. 
<laughs> edit scene! Right on the fly. Here we fucking go. I don't know how to edit shit. Uh, let's see. Was it control to... Uh, hold on. I think it was alt, actually. If you want to crop things in OBS, you use the alt key. Impromptu fucking technical lesson. Now see? That's... That's my dad. Okay? That's my dad. That's my dad. That's my birth father. This man's nut juice helped produce me and my brother. I don't have any photos of my brother because I hate my brother. Have you noticed a theme here? I don't get along with my family. Whatever. Now. My brother looks like my dad. And the son of a bitch can tan like there's no tomorrow. Me? I burn. I burn to a crisp. Even my mother can tan quite nicely. Now. I'm gonna leave this image of my dad right here. I'm gonna turn off the edit scene, mind you. And I'm gonna let you see the difference. And even see the similarities. I kinda have his nose, which is obnoxious now that I think about it. I have his eyebrows, that's for damn real. The point is, I just made a really weird noise in the back of my nose, throat area, whatever. The point is, you don't know, okay? And even when you do know a person's parentage, if they don't look exactly like you, you get pissed off. Is that okay? Is that right? No, it's not. It's, it's not right. It's not okay. And I don't think that you should get so irate and so pissed off because a shitty fucking magazine a shitty fucking magazine that you shouldn't even be wasting your money on to begin with or a shitty fucking TV show, or a shitty fucking movie. Any mass media, honestly, misrepresents what you think should be out there. I go back to my earlier comment. If you think certain things should be seen, do something about it yourself. Get off your dead ass. Get off your whatever. Get off your couch, get off your computer chair go out there make videos that matter do something otherwise stop being so fucking angry about it when you're not willing to do a goddamn thing about it now people are gonna call me racist people are gonna call me a bigot but I'm gonna sit here and tell you that those people are just angry because I'm right you want change? You want things to be different? Do something. Productive. About it. And I think you should also understand... We have a black president. We have a black president. I, I'm sorry. Um, have you missed out on that? M missed out on that? We have a black president. I'm gonna say it again. We have a black president. We have a black president. We have a black president. And you know what? Even then, people try to discard him. Uh, mm, that's not the right word this time, though. People tried to disavow him or make light of him because a he's light skinned to a degree. Actually, he's about the same skin tone as my dad. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit, just a little bit. People try to give him shit about his name, discredit him, dis... Yeah, discredit, that's the word I wanted. People try to... <sighs> People tried to get him impeached or kept keep him from being president. Because... A, because he's black. B, because they thought he was Muslim. Or Pakistani, Iraqi. Any one of the Middle Eastern things, because of his name, Barack Obama. Do you think that's right? Are you going to get up in arms and defend the black president? And then immediately go and trash talk other famous people, or even your neighbors, because they're light-skinned? And they get more privilege or whatever you want to say. Are you, you going to do that? I'm, I'm fairly sure you are. 
that's not okay. That's not right. I'm gonna end this video here, and... You can think what you will. You can say what you will in the comments. I'm not crying, mind you. I've kind of got hiccups now from talking so much. But... The fact of the matter is... If you want shit to be different, be different first. That's all I can say. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Next time, I'll be with my cohort. <laughs>